Welcome to Poseidon Tech. In today's video, Unify Dream Router, a device that we were waiting for a long time. It has the screen in the front and some changes in the back compared to Unify Dream Machine, but we will talk for them in a little bit. First of all, let's unbox the device. Ok, similar to Unify Dream Machine, we have the actual device. Some paper. And the power cord. That's all. It looks similar to Unify Dream Machine, but it has some vital changes. In the front we have the screen, the SD card slot for the Unify Protect and two PoE ports. All the other ports are the same. Also we have here a sign that this is a Wi-Fi 6 device. Now let's power up the device and connect to the network. As you can see, the small screen lights up. We have the Unify logo. And now it starts to boot up. Compared to Unify Dream Machine, the booting time is much longer. At least twice. Ok, now our device is ready for setup, as it appears in the screen. We got a prompt to download Network App. Also in the screen appears the IP address of the device, where we can configure it through the web setup. So let's go to this IP address, 192.168.1.1. Let's set up UDR, give it a name. Agree with term of use, sign in with your UI account, restore from a backup if it is one available, in our case it is not, so we press continue, set up the updates, configure a Wi Fi network, press next. This will trigger a speed test. It's more or less what we're expecting. We could have skipped that, but okay, it's nice to have a speed test. We got the results. Let's press next. Setup continues. Until now, it's 1 minute and 38 seconds. If you had skipped the speed test, it will be less. 2 minutes and 15 seconds for the setup. And our device is ready. As you can see, under the application, we have two applications. The network and the protect, since Unify Dream Router supports protect as well. Under the users, we have the user that we have used. Nothing yet in the notifications. Let's go to settings. As you can see, we are on Unify OS 2.4.9. We have Network and Protect installed and enabled. As you can see, we can use Access and Talk, but please have in mind that you can have only two applications simultaneously running. So if you want to enable Access, you need to disable Protect, for example. The known settings under the system. Nothing strange. In the notification area, we can configure different notifications for the network and the protect. Under the storage, there is nothing yet since we have not installed the SD card. And under the About console, we can see that we, have, we are using 64% of the memory. Let's open the Unify Network application. similar to the already known interface. 
not a lot of stats yet. Under the ports, we have the ports inside, a new feature in the latest version of Unified Network Application. And also under the settings, we have one new feature which is the teleport. A new detailed video will come regarding the teleport. Under the protect, nothing yet, since we have not configured it yet. The known interface from the Unify Protect. That's it. New detailed video regarding the comparison of UDM to UDR will come soon, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please press like and consider subscribing to our channel. See you in the next video.